Welcome back to the Robertson's YouTube channel, everyone. I'm Kevin, and I'm excited to share with you today a machine that I've got a ton of time, effort, energy into, not only me, but everybody here at the shop. Uh, I ordered this machine for myself many months ago. It took for a while to get in. Uh, all the accessories finally came in for it. We got this thing built, and I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. So without further ado, let's check this thing out. It's a 2022 Can-Am Commander Max XTP 1000R loaded with a bunch of Can-Am accessories. Let's check it out. So as you can see, this thing here is just decked out with a bunch of accessories. I'll give you a quick walk around of it, then we'll get into going over each accessory that we've added, why we added it, and how it may be beneficial to you in maybe your next build. All right, so we'll start up here in the front. You're gonna notice right out of the gate, these nice System 3 beadlock wheels. 32 inch quad boss tires. These tires here, this is a newer tire that we've been running. It has a nice block tread to it, so it's a good all terrain tire, uh, especially for the conditions that we're riding around here. Uh, can't wait to get some more time on this to see how these tires, uh, how these tires perform. Up here in the front, you're gonna notice the corner protectors right here. Those there just offer the machine a good look. I'll stand from the front at just makes the machine look a little bit wider. Offers great protection on the corner. This side-by-side uh, -side comes standard with this front bumper along with the winch down here. Also comes standard with LED headlights. Windshields. This is a big topic and we're gonna to do a topic or a video I should say on windshields here coming up. We chose to add the glass windshield with wiper to this machine. Reason being is this is going to be, this machine's really for any adventure, uh, whether it's spring, summer, fall, winter, this machine's set up to, to ride in any, any condition really. Uh, so glass windshield with wiper. This does have the heat kit in it. So again, you know, if you're going to be using this thing in the winter time at all, definitely consider a glass windshield with wiper. That way there, you, you're going to have that wiper in case snow comes up, uh, especially if you're running tracks. Tracks tend to kick up quite a bit of snow. So. Uh, moving along up here on the top, you can see the Can-Am um, double stack LED light bar. Again, using talking about any conditions, night riding, whether you're going to use this thing maybe in the wintertime to plow some snow, you got that light bar up top. Also the uh, Adventure roof rack. This offers a ton of extra storage for you. Uh, as you can see, we've gone ahead and added the Link Fuel Caddy. There's the link uh, tool kit. And then also we have our full size spare wheel and tire. 
I will make mention to you, anytime you put a lot of weight up on the top there, and there is a, a weight rating for it. I don't can't remember right off the top of my head, but it does say it in the instructions. Anytime you get weight up high like that, you want to keep in mind that is the machine will handle differently. And what I mean by that is it's going to feel a little bit more top heavy. So you definitely want to keep that in mind. Be aware of that when you're, when you're riding with weight up there, you'll get used to how it feels. You just don't want to end up on your side. So, um, just like I said, just wanted to keep that in mind when you're when you're riding with that adventure rack. But all in all, a great accessory offers you you more storage, so it's not necessarily in the cab or in the bed, um, and stuff that can be out in the weather. Why not have it up there? It doesn't need to be inside protected. So, uh, awesome accessory. Uh, the install on it wasn't that bad at all. So, um, definitely something to consider. We've talked about mirrors in the past. Any time on a Canyon product that we put the soft upper doors on as you can see on this one, we always add the seismic mirrors to it. Now, these mirrors here, one of the reasons why we do that is because the mirror itself is physically bigger than the Can-Am one and you can, it's easier to see out of. So when you're in the cab, sitting in the seat there, you have this area that creates a blind spot. Now the Can-Am mirror, the field of view is much smaller. So this section, again, from the inside of the cab creates a blind spot where you really can't see the mirror that well. Not to mention the way that the Canium mirror mounts, if you wanted to take these uh, soft upper doors off, you would have to remove the mirror as well. So it's more of a pain in the butt. So what we do is we use these seismic mirrors. One, it gives you a better field of view. And two, if you want to take these upper soft panels off, it makes it a lot easier for you. So definitely keep that in mind if you're going to do a soft enclosure. Got to give a shout out to our uh, design guy, Josh over at Rising Revolution. Knocked it out of the park, was able to get this uh, decal on here for us. I think it really uh, sets off the machine. So Josh, thank you very much for that one. Went ahead and added a set of rock sliders to this. Rock sliders offer good protection along the side of the machine. Um, also, if you're gonna be in really, really rocky areas, uh, if you come down on something, it helps support, so it's not gonna get all smashed up. Uh, and, you know, with the front bumper the way it is, the adventure rack and the back bumper, all the tubing, I think it just ties the whole machine together. Really, uh, really like the rock sliders. All right, so moving around to the back, this is something that many of you may not have seen yet. Uh, I've probably seen it in the catalog. But this is uh, the rear uh, extender with the, with the enclosure on it. So why we added this is for the simple fact, sometimes you have a lot of cargo that you don't necessarily want to get all dusty, dirty, rained on, whatever. So this enclosure is going to help with that. Now, there's a couple different ways that you, when you install this, that it can be configured. In this machine here, you're going to see that you can see whoops, right through into the back of the machine. So essentially, this whole machine, we'll call it one piece. So from the back seat, you can reach into the back cargo area here and grab something if needed. Now, when you do this, you lose the bed functionality as far as it tipping. There are brackets inside, I'll show you right here, maybe a little bit hard to see, but those brackets, you got one on each side, one right up in here. What that does is it locks the rear uh, cage structure to the actual roll cage inside the machine. So once you clamp that down, everything becomes real, real rigid. Uh, so again, you lose this whole panel right here now, this whole section is locked into the uh, roll cage of the machine. So you're gonna lose, again, like I said, the dump functionality on this. But what you are gaining is that all that, that space in there and the ability to reach from the back seat into the, uh, into the bed area. So you don't have to do it that way. There is a panel kit um, that you can put in there. So you don't, if you don't wanna lock them all together, there's a panel kit that would go right in here. So you would have two separate spaces. You'd have the cab space and then you'd have the bed space as well. So a couple different options. If you wanna be able to continue to use your bed, you, get, you have that option. Or if you wanna keep it open like this, you have that option as well. Uh, we've gone ahead and added the 
this rear link rack. Obviously what that does is it gives you the ability to get stuff up a little bit higher, double stack stuff. So now you can see we have the cooler in there and plenty of room underneath to be able to put some more goodies. Uh, we've also added the rear bumper, just again for a little bit more protection. Now once we get inside, you're gonna notice that we added a rear view camera. Now typically, if you've seen our videos in the past, I typically put them up on the back window, but as you can see, or in the, the roof, I should say, you, <laughs> there is no section to put it in. So we got pretty creative and we decided we were gonna put it right here underneath the tailgate handle. It is a little bit of work to do it, uh, but again, it's protected right there. Most of the time, the instructions are gonna tell you to put them down here, right up in the back here. And that does work well, especially if you're gonna be using this thing to hook up to hitches quite a bit. That wasn't the intention when we built this machine. Um, Cause keep in mind down there, there is gonna be a lot of potential for debris to get kicked up, uh, exhaust, any of that stuff, especially if you're gonna be using it in the winter time, um, condensation and whatnot. So we wanted that camera up here, nice and protected. I like how it came out, nice clean look. So to finish off in the back here, this back panel, it will roll right up. You do have straps, as you can see on the inside here, that'll roll up and it'll stay right up on the top. Or if you wanna close it, just zips down, latch it down in place, and there you have it. Again, a feature or an accessory that they had come out with that I hadn't seen in person yet. Um, and we added to this, and I really like it. I think many people after seeing it will find that there's a, a lot of functionality in it. Uh, and it looks pretty cool too. So I think that about wraps it up for the outside of the machine. Let's hop inside and check out some of the goodies we put in there. All right, so moving along inside, right here in the doors, we added the Canium uh, storage bags. Both got one up right here on the driver's side and then also on the passenger side right over here. You can never have enough storage. Speaking of storage, I'll show you what we've added in the back. We've got the Can-Am shoulder bag right here. And then also for the passengers in the back, we've added this bag as well. And this just clips down right into the uh, center console in the rear. So it offers you plenty of storage uh, for you up in the front and your passengers in the rear. Some of you that are familiar with the uh, Commander XTP, you're gonna notice that this steering wheel looks a little bit different. This steering wheel here is out of a Maverick X3. Now, I gotta give a special shout out to Alex Smith, a uh, good friend of ours. He bought an XTP off of us and was talking to me about uh, what we'll say bigger guy problems and that having that X3 steering wheel in there really really made it more comfortable because it's a smaller steering wheel and it's a little bit more comfortable steering wheel. But the biggest thing is you can see it's got this flat spot here on the bottom. So with it, with the steering wheel being smaller in that, in that flat spot for uh, larger people, it may, it, it, you're not hitting your legs off the steering wheel uh, when you're going down the trail, hitting a bunch of bumps and whatnot. So Alex, thank you for that. Uh, for that tip there and hopefully somebody else uh, may be able to enjoy their machine more after seeing this video by throwing a Maverick X3 steering wheel in it. We've also added the uh, Garmin GPS right here. This is a Montana 700i. I'll power it up real quick. Now this, this uh, GPS is loaded with ATV trail maps. This also has the in-reach function. Uh, if you're not familiar with the in-reach, um, I can definitely uh, put a link in the description to uh, another video that we did talking about GPSs, why we run them, the importance of them and whatnot, and the safety aspect behind having something with in-reach in it. So um, really like that feature. And the nice thing with that is you can take it out and use it uh, in another vehicle, another side-by-side, -side, uh, boat, whatever it may be. So you have plenty of different options with that. Here's the heat kit in the dash. So this has uh, the heat, the defrost and ventilation. Um, so it will pull outside air in. It's not going to work like AC, um, but it definitely will help pull some, some air in. 
We talked about the rear view camera. There's a look, let me get out of the picture here. Here's a look out the back with the camera being placed, like I said, uh, right above the handle, for, or right, right below the handle for the tailgate. So uh, nice look there. The audio system, we've gone ahead and added the uh, wet sound subwoofer that mounts right up here in the uh, glove box on the passenger side. And also, you control it with this knob right here. So you can basically turn the sub right off, turn it all the way up. After we went ahead, the first install that we did by putting a subwoofer in one of these, I don't think that I would put one, build one without it. I mean, it just makes all the difference in the world on how this sounds. So uh, if you have a wet sound system now, the complete system, and you don't have the subwoofer, try to find someone that has one or stop into a store uh, or trust me on this one, just buy it. You're going to like it. Um, it's well worth the money. Again, in my opinion, if you're a music lover and you like to be able to have that uh, little bit of extra bass, not nothing that's, you know, earth shattering uh, by any means, but it just gives it a nice little sound to it. So uh, I think that about wraps it up here in the front. We've already looked in the back. I'll give you one last look around. Do have the upper switch panel here. So this here is gonna control your LED light bar and then, um, <coughs> excuse me, your wiper and washer kit. Also added two dome lights in here. Got one up here and then one in the back as well um, for the passengers. Uh, one thing that's nice about these upper soft doors is on real warm days, or if you just wanna be able to get a little bit of air, one, you could take them off, or two, they just unzip. <laughs> So they unzip like that, just pull them on the outside, and then they just roll right up. And there's straps, as you can see on the inside here, that once it's rolled up, it'll snap down there. So it'll get you some nice, a nice breeze in there, uh, get some airflow, especially with having the glass windshield, that's not vented at all. So um, definitely get some air flowing through the machine. And that is the same for the front, um, front windows, along with the back windows too. So. Zip that down, and there you go. So that about wraps it up for this machine. Again, this machine's built and it's ready for basically any ad adventure that you could think of. Uh, wintertime riding, fall, summer, spring. I mean, we've got it covered with this one. Um, this is really set up, in my opinion, to be the ultimate, ultimate machine. Go ahead and throw a set of tracks on it, use it in the wintertime. Um, couldn't be happy with how this came out. So thanks to everybody here at the shop. Uh, a lot of effort went into putting this thing together. I think it came out great. Uh, I think I've said that probably a hundred times now. So, uh, but it's been a fun machine. Hopefully I get to put some more time on it before it sells. It is available right now. So if it's something that uh, may, may be interesting you, uh, give me a call at 207-324-5502. We can talk pricing, uh, availability and all that. So uh that wraps it up thanks for taking the time to watch our videos if you found this video helpful helpful at all please give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please do i really appreciate that let's take one last look at this one and until the next time take it easy